is Sasha and uh, this is Nastya. We are from Ukraine and we are refugees and we are uh, living right now in the Netherlands. We live uh, here right now in the church building. We knew some okay. people before the war. Uh, we knew one family and they uh, lived here uh, uh, three years ago and they uh, contacted with uh, the leaders of this church and uh, explain the situation and the church said we are ready to host you and we are also ready to help uh, Ukrainians. Uh, besides our family, it's a total nine, uh, nine people living here. Um, yeah, we have our own room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. We stay with uh, their, um, with, uh, we have two kids uh, and so we four of us are staying in, in this room and um, everything is good. We, we have <laughs> everything we need. It's a big blessing to be here actually and um, um, the big part of it is the is the people, of course, who are supportive, uh, because uh, uh, the walls are they are not. Uh, it's good to have walls and to have a roof, uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, also, it's important to have people who are ready to help and to support. And um, yeah. this church is doing very good <laughs> with with this. Yeah. And you came to live in the church. Is this because you do something you did something for a church in Ukraine or Yeah, uh, yeah, I was uh, like a preacher, uh, mm -hmm. preacher in church and we do uh, like a mission work in church so we uh, work with people and uh, also did some different social projects uh, to help people and we worked with refugees in Kharkov uh, okay. city of Ukraine uh, on the east side. Um, so we like familiar with working with the refugees, <laughs> yeah. and we did this for uh, maybe yeah, seven years when we, we lived in Kharkov. Um, so right now, uh, it's kind of the same feelings, but it's <laughs> in different country in Netherlands. Yeah. yeah, a lot further away and bigger scale. And bigger scale. Uh, unfortunately, we have a reason to leave uh, uh, to leave uh, Ukraine right now because uh, um, yeah, our youngest daughter is uh, have. Has uh, how do you say it? Epilepsy. Right. Yeah, epilepsy, disability, uh, disability okay. and we. She needs the a reason, lot of care. Yeah, the reason why we came here is uh, to have a medical care for our daughter. Yeah, but if everything will be okay, uh, I'm sure we would stay there. And because, yeah, this is what we did for the whole life there, and this is I know how to do it and uh, in Ukraine. But also we try to do it here. We try to create some projects for uh, for use for teenagers and for kids. Uh, yeah. We actually, not long time ago, maybe months ago, we did a camp for Ukrainian refugees here in this building. Is your uh, daughter going to school now? Is it possible or not? Yes, yeah. our, our, our two daughters are going to oh school. Both, yeah. They're actually in uh, one class. One classroom is a class for Ukrainians to integrate with the system into the system Dutch school system. Yeah. Uh, so they learn uh, language basically, and uh, they have some Ukrainian classes uh, with Ukrainian teacher also. And do you feel comfortable now here, or how do uh, you feel? Uh, in yes, in general, but uh, like each family wants to have a privacy, some privacy, and for everyone the life is stopped emotionally yeah. and like everything like on the pause. And it's very easy to okay. it's very easy to get lost. I don't I don't know how to say it. Okay. <laughs> Emotionally and can you talk with the children w about the all the past experiences in Ukraine, the difficult period? With our Is children or uh, in general, the the youth that you see. They also mention it. Mention it in sometimes it's like in jokes. Sometimes it's in a different contexts. But we are, yeah, this is our life right now we all uh, lost something or someone like every Ukrainian yeah. right now is um, has lost yeah or friends or relative or homes or uh, just normal life like my goal is to uh, focus uh, on the you know on the future on 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 and what's now what we can do now uh, what we can do today to you know to be try to be healthy as much as possible in this situation uh, but yeah, when we had a camp, we uh, some kids uh, like sh were sharing their stories, and it was like f difficult yeah. to listen because yeah, stories from one girl was telling the story from how she was hiding from uh, Russian soldiers uh, in a butcher uh, in in their wow. home. So it was, and she was she's like maybe nine years. So yeah, I mean they the kids are more uh, they 
more open about it and they freely more freely can talk about it some kids are like they don't want to talk they don't want to you know okay. yeah okay. <laughs> thank you a lot for this interview um and mm -hmm. good luck in this coming period thank difficult you. period thank you and wish you all the best for the future thank you <laughs>